Hey guys, it's your boy Quincy and tonight I want to talk about the benefits of being a late bloomer life part 2. Let me get started. It's a, it's a, it's a well known fact in the world all over that the whole world loves the early birds, the, um, the prodigy, the, the person that achieves everything early in life. Like, as in like doing well in life, making sure they become successful, uh, financially become rich and wealthy or they become, uh, achieve everything sports, sports stuff when they're young, um, you know. They achieve things at a young age, and that's all well and good. But what the world's first realise is that nothing's guaranteed in life. Yeah, yeah, you can achieve stuff while you're young, which I ain't got nothing, I ain't got a problem with, yeah. Um, but what happens is, is you can't predict the future. For example, there's people, there's there's famous actors, actors, sports people. They achieve so much, they they achieve so much stuff at so young, but they become a good actor when they're young, or they become a good sports person, achieving at such a young age, and. Sometimes what they do is they, they piss all the talent away because they had it so easy and they had it so young. They they sort of take the, they, they take the talent for granted. And you got to stand, Jay. It's all really good having talent, all the talent in the world. But if you don't you decide you, if you don't put hard work into it, talent, talent after a while is useless. You know what I mean? And you know you hear you hear examples of people like um, Gary Coleman, that black that, that, that black actor, that short black actor. Um, he achieves he achieves so much success at a young age, and then he's he spent his money. He took drugs and, you know, he's dead now, isn't it, unfortunately. And there's another actress, and then Amanda Bynes, I think it was. She achieved, she achieved, a, 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 she achieved a lot of fame when she was young, being act, actress. And she got to drugs and got to the wrong crowd of people. And, you know, you don't hear much of her now. An example of, obviously, another example of late bloomers in life. You know, like people like, um, like Samuel Jackson, yeah, he was active for many years, yeah. But he didn't get, he didn't get, the, he didn't get the recognition he deserved until he became, no, until he, would, until he, until he, um, I gotta put it until he became a uh, star in Pulp Fiction, yeah. When you know George, that George Winfield character, that was my favorite actor, favorite character all the time, and and Sam Jackson, my favorite actor all the time, yeah. He he didn't achieve success properly until he was like 46. Same as Morgan Freeman. Morgan Freeman didn't become a, a, a great actor. He was always been a good actor, but he didn't he didn't achieve his success until he got a lot older. Um, you know, many sports people like Ian Wright, for example, my my favorite footballer all time. I'm, I'm, I'm a, my favorite Arsenal, Arsenal footballer, all, my favorite Arsenal footballer all time, and I'm an Arsenal fan, of course. He, he might even start playing football. Like he played football when he was young, but he, 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 he didn't play professional team because he played until 21. And look at his career that lasts from 1985 to 2000, yeah. And he's one of the best black British players, black English players we ever had. You know what I'm saying? So just because you don't achieve anything in life when you're young, doesn't mean you, you can't achieve, you can't become successful in the future, yeah. And, there's, and, and look at and another thing, like, but look at the the job, bro. He played for Chelsea, or he knows he scored against us. I rate him because he 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 didn't he, he play football. He didn't play. He didn't start getting good. He was like 21, 22. Yeah, and and look what he look at achieving Chelsea. You know, he he was well, he was he put the best one of the best Africa players ever. You know what I'm saying? So the point I'm trying to make here, people, if you don't achieve things by a young age, or society makes you feel bad because you haven't achieved anything in life, don't worry about it because you've got plenty. Of, like I said in my last video, you've got plenty of time to achieve your goals in life, and don't let people make you feel bad if you're not you're not if you're not if you're not keeping up with your peers, you know what I mean? Like, you know, when they compare you to, they, they compare yourself to your, 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 your people in your age group that achieved success. Because success, if you achieve success early, it doesn't mean that you can, like, you can maintain it when you're older, you know what I'm saying? Because some people sometimes, people get lazy, they get complacent, they take their talent for granted, think, assuming that they're going to have their talent all their lives, and that's not always the case, you know? I'd rather be a late bloomer. I know, I know I'm going to sound a bit biased to what I'm saying, I'd rather be late bloomer because, here because, you know, I like I said before in my in my last video, I didn't I didn't go like I, said, I didn't go to university in 2010, in, in 2010. But I went to University of London for four and a half years. I went I went from obviously um, September 2010 to February 2015. Yeah, four and a half years, right? And I, and I got my two degrees. Like I said before, I got a foundation degree in business management and a, and a B on degree in business studies. Yeah, and I'm I'm quite pleased that I went to university a, a, a bit older in my late 20s. I should, I wish, really true, I should, really truthful. I wish I go in my early 20s, in my early to mid 20s. But you know what? I was too busy partying and having a good time, you know what I mean? I'm glad I did what I did because, like, having said that, if I, like I said, when I went to university at a younger age, I probably would appreciate that. I probably would have dropped out because, like I said, I would have been partying and getting pissed and wasting my time. But no, I'm glad I did what I did because, like, I was able to pay for my degree without getting student loan debt when, when I was working full time. So, you know, any, anybody out there, if they feel that they're not, they're not reaching their success at a young age, Try not, don't, don't, don't be too hard on yourself. I know it's easy to done because sometimes I do it myself. I'm not myself when I'm 30, so I don't, I haven't achieved what I want to achieve. But you know what? The good thing about me, I'm like I said, I look, I'm young, I'm 36, but I look about 21, 22, yeah. And you know, I look young from age. I've got, I've got good health. And I'm, I thank God, I thank bless God that I've got good health. I look, I, I can make it to my good looks. You know what I mean? 
I've, you know, I've got no, like I said, I've got no, no kids at wedlock or not say wedlock, but any, any, any unplanned children, the one woman, that's the worst you could do. Um, or I haven't got, I haven't got a mortgage, but it doesn't mean nothing because like, I'm rent, I've been renting for a long time now. I've been renting since I left home at 25, which is like 11 years ago now. That's back in 2007 when I, when I moved back to London. Um, I've been waiting for 11 years now. You know what? I don't regret. I don't regret not having a mortgage. At first, I felt a bit bad. I think, oh, some of my friends got mortgage stuff like that here. But then saying that, if you if you if you got mortgage here, and you're in dead job, in your dead end job, in your dead end job, you hate. And the worst thing, the worst thing to you if you lose a job, you're fucked because then you won't be able to pay the mortgage and that, that you 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 lose at home, and you've been thousands and thousands of pounds in debt, and you don't want that. You know, you know, with me for example, like I, I remember I'm happy renting at the moment. If if if, if the situation comes up where I get like get a job I like and you know, and and get a job I like that pays really big money. Then yeah, fair enough. But then I know I'm happy renting. You know what I'm saying? Because like the worst thing, the thing about renting is that if you don't like where you live, you always move to another a better place or better area. So that's that's what I'm trying to say. So you know, like I said, guys, don't panic. If don't like I said, don't achieve what you want. Try not to stress. I know it's easy said done because you're surrounded by people trying to compete. Like you, especially in the media, that when the media has you know like the time list of of, of um. People under 30 who are millionaires. I know, I know. I read that sometimes, and I think, wow, it makes me feel bad. Because I'm thinking, shit, I didn't, I didn't have my talent. I didn't, I didn't, I didn't, I didn't. Um, what's the word? I didn't. Um, I, I didn't exploit my talent from youngest. But you know what? Don't write about it. You know, you know. To be honest, if I even I had money, if I was rich, if I was, if I had money, if I was rich, I would, like, I would keep quiet. You know what I mean? Especially being the black guy, especially the black community. If you got money, you're black. Oh, you got to give back to the community. You got to give your money to me. No, fuck that shit. I, I, I'll be street about it. You know what I'm saying? But no, no you, like, back to back to what I was saying. Yeah, you know you get the times it's all people under thirty or young people under thirty that that, that are millionaires, billionaires. That I feel like shit. Because I think, like, I, that makes me feel like shit sometimes. Because I think, so you know what? I've not cheated. I've not exploited my talent. You know what I'm saying? Um, and no, good luck to those people, the faithful that do achieve things at younger. That's good for them. That, that, that may be able to maintain their their wealth and their, their success. That's fine. I'm not I'm not hating them, but it's just the idea of it that that makes people like shit because sometimes we can't be on. So you know what? Yeah, they 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 find the talent young and they and they, if they if they manage to keep it going for them and they, and and they have successful life. Good luck to them. You know, but like you know, like I said, if you're not, if you're just, just an like average Joe out there trying to like make a living and you haven't achieved your ambitious goals about it, it's okay because you you know. The thing is, yeah, like I said before, a lot of people they're living to the in their hundreds now. So you got you got so much life to live, so much life to live, and you know don't don't feel bad about not achieving what you want because you got you got plenty of life to um, figure out what you're gonna do. And like I said, the worst thing you can do is to is to get into a career that you hate or job you hate, and you stuck that, that stuck in that job and then you can't get out. That's the worst thing you can do. You know, just take your time, and you'll be okay. You know. Um, and it's better to take your time because you can, you can, you can sort of plan, you can dream, you can visualize, visualize what you're doing in the future. And when you when you visualize what you do and you, and you achieve what you want in life, you be you be you be fantastic. You be you be you be you be, you be good. You be good. And um, you know, being a, for me, for me, being a late bloomer is actually better because like, you know, you don't you you, you make you make you, it makes you more humble. You don't you don't you don't take things grind. Also, you don't look down at people who are less fortunate than yourself. Because I know a lot of people that. To achieve things at young age, that, that, that life was easy on them. You know what I mean? They 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 managed to do well at school or do well at college, university, and they had managed to get the career, secure career at young age. And, and they sort of sometimes, not always, not all, not all people do, but sometimes they look down at people like myself that not who are not where they want to be. And I think it's fucking wrong. Cause you you got to be careful when you do that. Cause if you look down at someone, you don't know you might lose your job or you get you might get ill, you might you got might get sick or something. You know what I mean? So just be careful. People don't. If you had if your life been fortunate, if your life been good to you and you achieve anything you want in your life, and, and good luck. But please do not put down, don't don't look down at anyone who's less fortunate. You don't know where you go. You might you might lose your job, or you might something might happen to you. Please please be humble. You know what I mean? If, I, if I, when I achieve, when I do achieve my success, my success in life, when I'm older or ne- or in the f- near future, and, and even now I will never look down at anybody. Because in day yeah, I know anything can happen to. You. I could I could die tomorrow. I can get sick. Or I could lose my job. I'm just giving an example. So any any person that achieved anything that had like life's been easy on them, or they had came from a good background, or they they achieve everything they will, it, it, education wise and, and career wise. Please please do not look down at anyone that's less fortunate. Yourself. You don't you don't know their, you don't know their story of why they haven't achieved everything they want to do in life. You know what I mean? Or they haven't got the, the, the education they want, or they haven't got the career they want. You know you don't know their story. You know if if that's the case, get to know them first before you start judging people. Please don't. Because happened to me a few times when people look down at some people look down at me because they got they got the nice they got the, they've got the material the material wealth they got the nice flash car <coughs> they got a nice house they got a nice career a nice family. You know, 
because you had it easier than other people it doesn't make you better than anybody. No one's better than anybody. Just because you got just just achieve just because you, just because you achieve the, the the material the, the material wealth that society loves 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 about and flaunts over, don't look down at anybody because you don't know when you can you can hit, be down at that one. You just don't know. So my advice to anyone who think who, who thinks that they're failing life, I feel like that sometimes. But you know what? I'm like thank God I'm alive. I'm still here. I've got my health and strength. And I'll, and I'll make a, I'll make positive more positive moves positive moves in my life to to be better. I mean, lucky thing I've got my degrees in that, but I, um, it doesn't make you better than anyone who hasn't got a degree or just got A or B tech. You know what I'm saying? So me myself, like you know, I'm okay at the moment. I had, had, had to go out today. I had to go for a quick drink because obviously, like I was at home all weekend. I just stayed at home because I just lived, stayed like a hermit. But anyway, that, that's neither here and there. But no, any person. That feels lost or don't know, they ain't got clue, haven't got a clue what to do. Don't, don't, don't fret. Please don't fret because you know you, you got you got plenty of time. Long as you, long as you keep, long as you, um, this guy's not just goes for guys, this goes for girls as well. Yeah. If you feel like you know your your family's comparing you, you feel like you know, your family's put pressure into to reach a certain level by certain goal by a certain age or, you know what I mean? They don't, 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 don't stress. Don't fret. Please don't fret. You know they, they, they just they're just protecting their insecurities onto you. But don't fret, man, because you know that's what that's, this is what Quinn's here for—to give you advice, to say, to say like it's okay to be sort of. Everyone's got their own time clock here. Yeah? Don't you know? It's not life's not a race; it's a marathon. Yeah, so you've got plenty of time to do what you want to do. As long as you don't, as long as you don't, as long as you don't, as long as you keep out of trouble, don't get to any wrong, any any wrong, any bad things, or get pregnant or get get pregnant by somebody, or if you're a guy, don't get with any woman pregnant, then you're fine. As long as you, and 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 as long as you. Be, try to be the best person you can be and be a good person and do right by society I, I promise you, you you'd be good I'm telling you you know what I mean you know I'm so glad I, did, I didn't I didn't rush into anything I took my time because look at me now okay I may not be where I want to be at the moment but you know I'm okay with that I'm, I'm quite content you know things will get, things will get once, once I get once I get my life sorted out career wise my life will be good I'll be, I'll be, I'll be flying I'll be, fly, I'll, be, I'll be flying like, I'll be flying man you know what I'm saying I'll be getting the, getting the, getting the good job I want to do I'll be travelling the world and my plan is to also Travel, go, go holiday at least twice a year minimum. Yeah, at least twice a year. I got, I got so much love for, I got so much things to tick off in my life. Like, I got to my football matches. Some big Arsenal fan got to Arsenal matches. Go travel the world, travel different parts of UK and travel different parts of London, which I've been doing anyway. So, anyway, anyway, any, 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 pe- any person that feels lost in life, or lost in life, or lost, lost in a direction you want to go, please don't fret. Please don't fret. Please, I know, I know these are done, and you know. It's 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 hard for to do, but trust me, you be fine. You know, I know, and I know plenty of people that 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 are late bloomers. They 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 they, they do well in life. You know, they didn't they did all right, and they 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 glad. They told me that oh, you know, Queens, I'm glad I waited, because you know, there, there's other people that that rush and they they live to regret. They can't they can't they can't turn clock back. That's that's the worst thing you want to do. I'd rather take my time to figure out what I want to do in life, rather and then rather rush due to societal family due to societal and family pressures to please them because. Well, who, 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 whose life you're living? You're not living. You need to live your life. You need to live your life, not other people's life. You know what I mean? Or what they, what they, what pressure they place on you, um, place upon you. Cause that's that's the worst thing you do. And you, and like I said before, you end up resenting them. You don't want to do that. You know what I mean? You don't, you don't end up resenting them. All because you listen. All because you listen to their, their bullshit. Just do what makes you happy, and you'll be fine. Um, another thing I've got to say about being a late bloomer. I I, I think being a late bloomer, you just you just the good thing about being a late bloomer, you you. you, you, you there's no pressure on there's no pressure on you because you could do you could do things when you want in your own time, you know what I mean? You don't have the the focus is taken off you and placed on somebody else. And think of it, being a late bloomer is actually I tell you what, being a late bloomer for me is a blessing in the sky, it's such a blessing. Because like I I got luckily my fam, my family friends, my close friend family, they they love me for who I am. You know, they're not putting pressure on me to get a house or get a flash period career, job career and I, I, I thank God that I got I got I got good support I got good support network. I'm very, very, very lucky. I know not everyone's gonna have that, but please bear in mind, it's okay. If you even got no support or whatever, you just find solid, find solid, find solid in yourself that you be okay. Things will be alright, man. You know, as long as you keep the faith and do, 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 do listen to intuition, and plus you'll be fine. And you know, like I said before, just because you're early, because you're, because you're a prodigy in life, doesn't mean you're gonna be, you're gonna maintain that, pro- maintain that early success in your later years. You know what I mean? Because there's plenty, I think you hear so many stories that. People that become like they 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 they're great footballers they great they you get they get you get people that are great footballers when they're young and they they fucking piss the piss the talent away by getting pissed getting to getting through the, getting with the wrong crowd of people get taking drugs getting to getting to violence and shit like that and they 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 fuck their career up you know what I mean 
and 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 and, and on the other end you get people that that are late blooms in terms of, in terms of sport that football um that football especially fo- especially football and yet they start they start their careers like in it like early to mid twenties and they 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 make they make long they have long lasting careers you know what I mean so you know in this in this life the the world the door swings the 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 door swings in both the, the, the door swings both ways and everything swings around about there's people that, that start young and the thing is they start young and do well if it's young and they just burn out and you never hear from them again. And you get, you get people that start later in life and yet they they, they have they maintain a long lasting career whatever the credit whatever the career they choose whether they're just normal working people or they're famous celebrities or sports people. Like I said, myself, I don't understand by towards myself, but I'd rather be a late bloomer than an early because he's a late bloomer you can you, you and also being a late bloomer as well, I find in my in my case personally, you, you age less, I mean you you, you you stay young looking, it keeps you it keeps you young because obviously I've got so much things to do. In my life, and you know, I think being a late bloomer for me is better because it keeps me, keeps me, keeps me. Kept, I always had a, a young outlook, a youthful outlook in life, and I always kept my young, good looks. And you know, I'd rather do things later than run, than rush things, and then go later, than burn out. And, and you know, I just, I just, I just, you never hear from me again. You know what I mean? But no, um, like I said, being a late bloomer is a good thing because it's a blessing in disguise. And also, being a late bloomer, it keeps out of trouble. It, 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 it doesn't like to make mistakes because you could. You can learn because the, 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 the wise man, uh, the wise man said, "Yeah, a normal person learns from their own own mistakes, but a wise man learns from other, learns from other people's mistakes." Yeah, because they learn their mistake, they learn they learn from other people's mistakes by by carelessly, but learn from watching what happen, watching what their friends do in their lives and making bad choices. And there's you looking looking at it and thinking, "So you know what? I'm not gonna make the mistake, not mistake, not not gonna make the mistake they made." So that's a good thing. It protects you. Being a late bloomer actually protects you from getting that. It, it, it protects you from getting to any stupid trouble, unnecessary, unnecessary trouble you can't get off. So I'd rather just wait and watch and learn, learn, learn from people's mistakes and you'd be good. Yeah? Anyway, listen. My final words for this year. Late bloomers, if you don't achieve anything in life, if you don't achieve anything in life, don't fret because you've got, you've got so much good life to live and you'll be fine, trust me. Anyway, listen. If you like this video, please, see, if you like this video, please subscribe and I'm out.